Have you been watching me for a while? Do you have assumptions about me? Great, I want to hear them. Leave them down below because I'm going to make a video reacting to them. Please don't make them only about school because no, no. We're trying to branch out on this channel, you know? <laughs> Welcome to the last episode of Decision Making. Today we have Andrea from U Ottawa and Connie from Carleton to answer your questions about their school. Their YouTubes and socials are down below, so make sure you subscribe and follow them to see what they're up to. Hello everyone, um, my name is Andrea and I went to the University of Ottawa and I studied marketing. Um, that was my specialization in the Bachelor of Commerce program and I just completed my fourth year. So yeah, I know quite a bit about UOttawa and the business program. Um, so I'm going to answer the questions that Wynette sent me. So the first question is, how do you like your program so far? So now that I've completed it, I can kind of talk about everything. Um, I did like the program, but definitely liked it more towards the end of the program because when you're in marketing specifically, uh, you only have one marketing class in your first two years. So it's a very general program, which can be a good thing and a bad thing. So it's a good thing because if you're not too sure what kind of business stream if you're into finance if you're into marketing if you're into accounting if you're not too sure what you're interested in it gives you a chance to kind of try out a bit of everything but for me I knew that those classes were not my favorite then it kind of sucks because you have to go through all these classes that you have no interest in but yes that was how I found the program the first two years are definitely a lot harder in that you're coming from high school and university classes are a lot tougher and the overall format of classes are a lot different. You're only going to a class once or twice a week and that's it. So you really need to make sure that you're on top of all your classwork and not goofing off. Um, and that you actually are studying in your free time because it's very easy to fall behind in your classes. Um, how do you like the profs and TAs? Um, a lot of the TAs I personally knew just from being involved in the Telfer community. Um, so they're just like students like you and me. They just, yeah. That's as much as I can say. They all are super nice and if you reach out to them, they are willing to help you. The profs, it really depends on who you get. I've had amazing profs that I would in a heartbeat take their class again. And there's other ones that are very forgetful. So yeah, it, I feel like it's like any school. Um, yeah, it just really depends on the class and as well what they are teaching. Are there any internships, co-ops, or study abroad opportunities? Yes, to co-ops and study abroad. Um, I'm not really too sure about internship. I'm sure there is. I never looked into it, but co-op, yes, for sure. You have to make sure that for the business program specifically that you maintain I believe an 80% average. So a lot of people do lose their co-op opportunity um, but if you can keep that 80 average, then you do have a guarantee for co-op. Um, and then study abroad, yes. I know a ton of people that did study abroad in Austria, um, England, I'm trying to think, Germany, like a bunch of places that you can go. Um, I think you do have to maintain an average as well, but Everyone that has done the study abroad have had nothing but great things to say about it. And yeah, a lot of people go in their third year because if you're studying international management, it's mandatory for your program to study abroad, but anyone can apply as well. What is on-campus living like? 
So there are a ton of residences. There's traditional style, which is what I lived in, which is pretty standard, just a room and common shared areas and a shared bathroom, all that kind of stuff. I stayed in Stanton, um, but then there's also apartment style, suite style, semi-traditional, where you, it kind of is like a hotel. It actually was a hotel uh, that they converted into a residence. So there's tons of different options. Some of them, the meal plan is mandatory. Some of them, they're not. So just look into all that on the website for you, Ottawa. It's very helpful. But yeah, uh, on campus living, I thought was great because you're right there on campus. You're close to the dining hall, you're close to your classes, and it gets you accustomed to the campus really quickly. Um, how's the location? The location is amazing. I loved being directly downtown. Um, you can literally walk to most of the attractions in Ottawa, like the Parliament buildings, the Rideau Centre Mall, um, any of the Byward Market restaurants and stuff like that, everything's in walking distance or a short commute, short Uber or bus. Um, but yes, it is amazing being directly downtown. There's always stuff to do and I've loved being in a city. Um, how big is the campus? I would say it's relatively small. Um, everything's pretty compact because it is a city. There are actually two campuses. There's the Lees campus and then there's the downtown campus. Um, the Lees campus, if you do have classes there, you'll have to take a bus or ride a bike, um, but it's not too far. There's also the O train now, so it's just one stop on the O train, so it's not too bad. That's also where the dome is, the football field. Um, and then there's the main campus, which is very compact to go from one end to the other. It probably takes 10 to 15 minutes. Um, so it's relatively easy to make it to your all, all of your classes. Um, how's the food? I would say the food is pretty good. The fact that the dining hall is 24 hours, uh, seven days a week is a really big bonus for me. The fact that at any time of the day you can go in and get food and it's guaranteed that you will have something to eat is great um there's options for every type of dietary restriction or eating habits so if you're vegan vegetarian anything there's options for you there is a soft serve machine there's my pantry where you can cook yourself there is a section where the chef cooks it in front of you and makes it how you like it. So if you like your pierogies with certain toppings or your stir fry a certain way, they cook it in front of you and you can customize it. There's salad bar, soup bar, sandwich bar, panini section. There's literally everything you can think of. So yeah, it can just get a little repetitive sometimes. So try and switch it up and don't go to the sweets table every day because it is very tempting. Um, what extracurriculars are there? So there's tons of intramurals. Um, I played soccer, so um, yeah, co-ed soccer was great. There's pickup, um, like badminton, pickup sports all the time. There's intramural sports. You can play semi um, varsity and then varsity sports as well as there's a ton of clubs there's dance clubs there's clubs based off of religion ethnicity um, interest there's musical theater there's what I'm more experienced with which is the business club so I did DECA and the Telfer Marketing Association but there are a ton of extracurriculars. You can also get involved working for the school. So that could be anything from working at the dining hall, working at one of the restaurants on campus. You could work within your school department. There's a ton of opportunities. You just have to look for them. Um, what's the party life like? That's one thing that's very different to a lot of other schools. I feel like it's kind of the opposite than a lot of schools. So since Gatineau, Quebec, 
is like a 10 minute bus from UOttawa's campus. It's kind of flipped from a lot of schools where in first year, a lot of first years end up going to the bars in Gatineau, whereas in other schools, a lot of first years, they spend their first year going to frat parties and house parties and stuff like that, because that's all they can get into. Whereas at UOttawa in second year, people tend to go more to house parties because now they have a house and they don't want to go to clubs as much. But yes, Ottawa, there are a lot of clubs, a lot of bars, and there's also Gatineau. So there's tons of options. Um, there's also things that don't involve going to clubs, like at some of the museums, they have Nature Nocturne, which is they turn the museum kind of into a night soiree where you dress up, you can drink and stuff like that, which is super cool. But yeah, there's a ton of options um, for party life. Um, the next question is, how's the transportation? So if you're trying to travel um, from Ottawa, there is the Ottawa airport, there is Via Rail train that you can use, or the Greyhound bus. And then within Ottawa, um, the great thing about Ottawa is that you can walk pretty much anywhere. But if you are trying to go a bit farther out, there is the um, o train, which is the LRT that was just built, finished being built last year. So you can take the train from the Ottawa U station and you can go out for wherever the train takes you. And then there's also the OC Transpo bus system and the Quebec bus system that are also included in your U Pass. Your U Pass you get with your tuition and it's a great deal. And then the last question is, what would you rate your experience out of 10? So with my experience, I didn't get involved until my third year. I definitely regret that. So my biggest tip is to get involved as early as possible, but that would make my experience probably about a seven or an eight. I love Ottawa as a city and that definitely made my experience a lot better, but yeah. Um, Thank you to Wynette for letting me talk to you guys, and yeah, bye! Hi, my name is Connie, I go to Carleton University, my program is Public Affairs and Policy Management, and I'm in first year. So how do I like my program so far? I'm actually really enjoying it, it's basically government and policy, so the fact that I'm in Ottawa is really convenient, and I just heard great things about Carleton's program. How do I like my profs and my TAs? So some of them have been misses, others have been like, most of them have been decent or pretty good, and I've generally liked all my TAs. Are there any internship, co-op, or study abroad opportunities? So I'm in a co-op program, a bunch of other programs have co-op, and there's a ton of study abroad opportunities if that's what you're looking for. What is on-campus living like? It is very convenient, being so close to my classes, so close to my friends. The rest of themselves aren't as good as other universities, honestly, but they're all decent, they're all livable. How's the location? So I appreciate that Ottawa is like an actual city and not just a university town, so you'll generally find things to do. How big is campus? I don't know how big it is, but it's very condensed, which means all the buildings are really close to each other. So basically my furthest class is a 15 minute walk away, which I really appreciate. How's the food? So the meal plan is really good in that it's unlimited amount of food and as many times as you want during the day. The food quality itself, it's at least decent. There are some days that are better than others, but overall decent. What are the extracurriculars here? So there's a lot, there's like sports ones, intramurals, there's academic ones, there's ones for the community or just recreation. So yeah, there's no shortage of them here. What's the party life like? <laughs> so there's a lot of, you're, there's, this is definitely a party school and you're a 15 minute Uber away from Gatineau. So there's definitely a clubbing scene here too. And you can go to bars here if that's what you're looking for. Uh, what's the demographic? So predominantly white, still more diverse than I think other cities, but I came from Toronto, so this was still kind of a culture shock for me. But yeah, overall, like I guess pretty diverse compared to others. How's transportation? So OC Transpo, that's our like LRT and bus line. It's not amazing. I think it's still better than like a lot of other cities, but it's nothing to brag about. How do I rate my experience at the 10? I'd give it like an eight or nine, less to do with Carlton and just more to do with making the most of your first year experience. But Carlton has honestly been pretty good. Thank you to my special guests for being in this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching this whole series. I'm going to start some new exciting content starting next week and I'll see you guys then. Bye. Bye.